Good morning, everybody. Mike Nemec here with some early morning grain uh, oil seed comments for January 31st, uh, that being 2017. We started yesterday talking about where we thought that the start of the week yesterday was almost the end of the month, which is the end of the month, and or now we're going to go start into a new month. That's why I wanted to get into a point. And I think that what we w really saw was the commitment traders report that showed where we had this build, big buildup of uh, open interest in the corn, beans, meal in particular, that maybe they were susceptible for the fact that we thought that the supply and demand tables were not all that, how do you want to say it, bullish. So what we did see yesterday was a huge hit in the grains and oil seeds across the board. Now what was interesting was for the fact that we had a sizable net short position in the wheat here in Chicago, but we really didn't see a drawdown in the open interest because the open interest actually was up 3,100 contracts yesterday. And if we're out there still talking about trading ranges, what was curious, not curious, but in the sense that uh, what we thought were surmising that we had this buildup of uh, open interest throughout the month of January, and today's the last day, that the open interest in the corn was down 9,000 contracts. Wheat, uh, beans were down uh, 9,600 contracts. The meal was down 6,900 uh, 6, contracts. So once again, liquidation. So we're still entrapped in the sideways trading range still out there trying to surmise that we don't running out but then again we'll still watch and see what happens in february with south america we're still doing business basis levels are still kind of status quo and we're not out there really how do you want to say it, establishing a trend other than choppy sideways going forward and we'll see how this ends out for the uh end of january of which the overnight trade was pretty much unchanged in wheat we're uh, pretty much uh, up one cent in corn, up three in beans, maybe up 50 cents a meal, and pretty much unchanged in the soybean oil. And in this time period also, we don't have, I think that probably a lot of the influence has been coming in from, from the Chinese markets, and that being that they're on the holiday, and so that's been somewhat, how do you want to say it, uh, 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 quieted. So anyway, uh, steady start, end of the month, liquidation, and or still overall non-bullish environment as far as grains and oil seeds go and once again end of the month liquidation once again these are my opinions not that of adm or admis thank you